and welcome back to Bon Voyage. Today we are going to explore the biggest country in the world. Born in 1991, Russia is bordered by 14 countries, the most in the world, which are North Korea, China, Mongolia, Kazakhstan, Azerbaijan, Georgia, Ukraine, Belarus, Poland, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, Finland, and Norway. It borders two oceans which are Pacific and Arctic. It also borders 12 seas. Russia is the largest country in the world, covering nine time zones, and is in both Europe and Asia. If you fly from Vladivostok in the east to Moscow in the west, it will take about eight hours. If you drive non-stop, it will take about four days. About 146 million people live in Russia, making it the ninth most populated country in the world. The national language of Russia is Russian, which is the most spoken language in Europe. The highest mountain in Russia is Mount Elbrus, which is also the highest in all of Europe. Longest river is the Volga. The capital city is Moscow, which is the biggest city in Europe. Some other major cities are St. Petersburg, Nizhny Novgorod, Novosibirsk, Yekaterinburg, and Vladivostok. An image of Russia, the St. Basil's Cathedral in Moscow has been among the top tourist attractions in Russia. The building's beautiful architecture attracts many visitors. It was designed to resemble the shape of a bonfire in full flame. Located in St. Petersburg, Hermitage Museum is a massive museum of arts and culture of a collection of over 3 million items. The collections occupy a large complex of six historic buildings, including the Winter Palace, former residence of Russian emperors. Russia's oldest city, Novgorod, is home to St. Sophia Cathedral. Standing 125 feet high and featuring five domes, the cathedral is the oldest church building in Russia. Kizi Island in Lake Oniga is best known for its incredible Kizi Museum. The museum has over 80 historical wooden structures. The most famous is the Kizi Pogost, one of the 28 UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Russia. The Valley of Geysers is the second largest geyser field in the world, which is located on the Kamchatka Peninsula in eastern Russia. It was discovered in 1941. Located just north of Mongolia, Lake Baikal is the deepest lake in the world. It has around 20% of the world's fresh water. The longest railway in the world, the Trans-Siberian Railway runs from Moscow to Vladivostok, spanning 9,289 kilometers. It crosses eight time zones, 87 cities and towns, and 16 rivers including the Volga. The Altai Mountains in Siberia extend from Russia into China, Kazakhstan, and Mongolia. With a number of natural reserves and lakes, the Altai Mountains are UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Lena Pillars are rock formations that stretch 40 kilometers along the banks of the Lena River in Yakutia. They have been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 2012. Russia has warm, hot, dry summers and very cold winters with temperatures reaching minus 30 degrees Celsius with heavy snowfall. The winter is mostly dry, with snow from October to March. The highest temperature recorded was 38 degrees Celsius in Moscow in July 2010. The lowest temperature recorded was minus 67.7 degrees Celsius in Oymyakin in February 1933, which was the coldest temperature ever recorded in the Northern Hemisphere. Before Russia had become a country in 1991, the Soviet Union or USSR spanned Europe and Asia. 
The Soviet Union was the largest country in the world, covering 11 time zones. Russia and the United States are just 82 kilometers apart, separated by the Bering Sea. Between these two countries is the international date line. So if you are standing on Lil Diomede in USA on the first of the month, looking into Big Diomede in Russia, where it is already second of the month, you are seeing tomorrow. Russia's land border is 20,000 kilometers long, making it the second longest land border in the world. Kaliningrad is a somewhat forgotten part of Russia that is separated from the mainland by Lithuania and Poland. It is Russia's smallest territory. 70% of Russia is forest, more than any other country. 73% of Russian population lives in the major cities. Approximately 99% of Russia is literate. It is one of the most educated countries with 766 universities located throughout its vast landmass. Do you know that Russia is larger than a planet? Pluto, which is actually classified as a dwarf planet since 2006, is 16 million square kilometers. On the other hand, the area occupied by Russia on her planet is 17 million square kilometers. A bright asteroid about the size of a six-story building broke up over the city of Chelyabinsk, Russia, in February 2013. The blast was stronger than a nuclear explosion. The shockwave it generated shattered glass and injured about 1,200 people. Yuri Gagarin was the first man ever to go in space in April 1961 successfully completed an orbit of Earth in the Vostok spacecraft. The world's first satellite was launched by the Soviet Union in 1957. Russia is home to lots of beautiful wildlife including Amur Tiger, Eurasian Lynx, the Siberian Brown Bear, and the most famous Siberian Tiger. Russia has over 40 national parks and 100 wildlife reserves. A wide variety of fruits are grown in Russia. It is not unusual for Russian gardens to include six or more fruits. Russians eat some very unique foods. Some of them are very famous and others are little known. Russia's national sport is soccer. Some other popular sports are ice hockey, volleyball, basketball, and biathlon. Some of the most popular stadiums are Lazniki Stadium, Nizhny Novgorod Stadium and Krestovsky Stadium. Russia hosted the Olympics two times. In chess, one of the world's famous champions is Garry Kasparov. From 1984 until his retirement in 2005, Kasparov was ranked world number one. It is a world record. In 1997, he became the first world champion to lose a match to a computer named Deep Blue. Russia, if you start smiling to strangers on the streets, they will think that you are making fun of them. And now try not to laugh on this one. Kids are taught not to smile in school. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed traveling through Russia. Next time you will explore another great country. Remember, if you start looking too much like your passport photo, it is time for a vacation. Bye, or as they say in Russia, Das Vidania.